This video is for familiarization only and is designed to assist in pre-emergency planning for incidents involving our nation's railroads. The information presented in this video can assist your agency in developing safe and effective protocols and incident response procedures. This video and the information contained herein is not intended to take the place of actual training, replace basic safety rules, departmental guidelines, or established regional response protocols. Additional informational videos of interest can be found on the FRA website or a copy can be obtained by contacting Michael Griskavich at this email address. every three hours. That's how often a person is injured or killed in a rail grade incident in the US. The sad part is most of these injuries and deaths are preventable. If people only knew what to do in case of an emergency at a rail grade crossing. Today we're gonna to be covering the emergency notification system and some important precautions to observe when on or near railroad property. Safety is always paramount. So let's cover some important safety precautions every first responder should know. First, see tracks, think train. Train tracks are private property. Always notify the proper railroad authorities and obtain permission before entering onto railroad property or working on or near their right of way. Always park clear of the tracks to avoid fouling the track. Fouling is when people or equipment are within 15 feet of the nearest railroad track rail. Locomotives and railroad cars extend beyond the steel rails and overhang the tracks. Stay back at least 15 feet. Always expect a train on any track at any time and in either direction. Trains can't stop quickly. Sometimes it can take a mile or more for a train to stop. Trains always have the right of way 100% of the time, even over emergency vehicles. Always comply with railroad warning signs and signals. They are there to warn you of the possibility of an approaching train. Don't stop on a highway rail grade crossing. If you should get stuck on a crossing, get out and get away. Only cross tracks at designated roadway or pedestrian crossings. Always remain alert around railroad tracks. The purpose of the emergency notification system is to improve highway rail grade and pathway crossing safety. The FRA requires each railroad to have an emergency notification system. It enables the responsible railroads to respond to a problem or emergency at highway rail grade crossings. Simply put, it allows the Railroad Emergency Response Center staff to receive, process, and respond to reports of unsafe conditions. For example, when a vehicle becomes stuck on the tracks or the crossing equipment is malfunctioning. This system was put in place to reduce the possibility of error in identifying a crossing and its location. Where is the emergency notification system applicable? At highway rail grade crossings, that's a location where a highway, road, or street, and the railroad right of way cross at the same level within which are included the railroad tracks, highway and traffic control devices for highway traffic traveling over the railroad tracks. So let's look at the blue and white emergency notification system sign. The purpose of the blue and white ENS sign is to provide the public, including first responders, with critical emergency contact information at every highway rail grade crossing. The blue and white ENS sign also displays the U.S. Department of Transportation's National Inventory Number, 
a unique number assigned to each public and private highway, rail, and pedestrian grade crossing in the U.S. The ENS sign is the quickest way to put you in touch with the railroad responsible for the crossing to get train traffic stopped. A good way to remember this is the blue and white will save your life. The sign must be conspicuous to the roadway or pathway user. It cannot obstruct other signs or warning devices. It does not limit the view of approaching trains, and signs are located at each approach to the crossing. Since each side of the crossing has a sign, there's typically no need to cross the tracks to locate a sign. What is the best way of communicating with the railroad? The blue ENS sign at each railroad crossing is similar to the VIN number on a vehicle. Um, it provides you with all of the information for contacting the railroad pertinent to that particular railroad crossing. The ENS allows members of the public to call the railroads and report an emergency or other unsafe conditions at highway, railway, and pathway grade crossings. The railroad can directly and promptly receive telephone calls from the public reporting specific information about any unsafe condition. It's imperative to get any incoming train traffic stopped before any attempt to correct a problem or respond to an emergency. Train tracks are considered live, active tracks until there is confirmation from the railroad company that train traffic has been stopped. The 1-800 number listed on that sign will put you in touch with the railroad company responsible for this particular crossing. You'll need to relay vital information, most importantly, the location by providing the U.S. DOT National Crossing Inventory number. For some railroads that operate on an intermittent or seasonal basis, you may reach an answering machine for reporting a problem or unsafe condition. Those railroads are required to check their messages at least once per day and before beginning any operations on that track. Another valuable tool is the Railroad Crossing Locator app. If the railroad operates in your jurisdiction, it is recommended that you have this app installed on your device. The Crossing Locator was developed to provide users with access to the highway rail grade crossing database. The tool allows users to locate crossings by U.S. DOT crossing ID, address, or geolocation. States and railroads provide and update information to the safety data website. This information is available to you using the USDOT National Crossing Inventory number, and Endlets will provide the first responders agency instant access to FRA's database. Now that you've contacted the railroad and reported the problem, what happens next? Will the trains be stopped immediately? The answer is probably not immediately, it's a process. The regulations require the railroad to promptly contact all trains that are authorized to operate through the crossing. Additionally, the primary dispatching railroad is also required to promptly notify all other railroads that dispatch trains over the crossing. In addition to stopping train traffic, the responsible railroad will likely dispatch railroad personnel to investigate the nature of the problem or emergency and initiate any repairs or corrective action that may be required. It's imperative to stay clear of the tracks and out of the right-of-way until you are certain all rail traffic is stopped. If your jurisdiction has active highway rail grade and pathway crossings, your department should have an emergency action plan or standard operating procedures for handling railroad-involved emergencies in your area of responsibility. If you're unable to communicate with the railroad to stop train traffic, you may need to dispatch flaggers. They should be dispatched two miles in each direction, as we know trains can often require a mile or more stopping distance. Slowly waving a flag, road flare, or flashlight horizontally across the track at chest height is the universal stop signal for all railroads. Flaggers should communicate the reason for the emergency stop to the train crew so they can relay the information. Once it's been verified, that train traffic is stopped, then emergency recovery or other work can be performed. After the problem, unsafe condition, or emergency has been corrected, it's extremely important to notify the railroad so traffic can resume. Here's a summary of what we've covered. The purpose of emergency notification signage is to improve highway grade and pathway crossing safety by allowing Railroad Emergency Response Center staff to receive, process, and respond to reports of problems or emergencies. The ENS sign provides the public with critical emergency contact information at every highway rail grade crossing and pathway crossing. ENS signage is for members of the public to report an unsafe condition, 
or emergency to the railroads at grade crossings or other public pathways.